Hey, what's up everybody? It's Randy. Thanks for joining me for this Black Orchid Project Quick Tip. Black Orchid Project Quick Tips are a series of short videos to help you keep your Phalaenopsis orchid happy and healthy. So let's take a look at this new tip. All right, so one of the first things you're going to want to watch out for is can you get your plant, as you can see, this one is a little hard to get out and getting it out to water it can cause a problem. I'm just gonna drop that in so you can see it one more time. I'm not faking this. Like the rim here is really close. And so it takes some finagling to get out of there. So I definitely wanna get rid of that problem. The first thing I'm going to do is find something. I like to use little tops. You can use water tops if they're small. I use these now you have to make sure that you it doesn't rust on you but I'm sure we all have some sort of like tops from jars I'm just going to drop that in the bottom there and as you can see once I drop that in it creates a space I can pull this out to water it and drop it back in without having to worry about um, it getting stuck and it's also as you can see here going to create some air flow around the plant and in the bottom here, you can put some water at the bottom that will evaporate to create some humidity. Now, put that out the way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some holes in here. And we're going to, I'm going to try to show you two different ways of kind of doing this. So the first way is the easiest if you have yourself a Dremel. And I hope this doesn't get too loud. I am going to take a Dremel and I'm going to look at the roots and I'm just going to start to put some holes here. So here is the other way you can do this. I'm just going to demonstrate. Uh, let's say eh, right. I'm trying to find a good spot. Eh, let's just say right here. I'm just going to take something small here and kind of create a little starter hole. And I don't have a lot of tools here, but I just created a little starter hole. And then I'm going to take just like a screwdriver. If you have a bigger screwdriver and then just kind of twist it. Or if you want, you can just use like a screw and just twist it to make some holes. You don't want to just puncture it in because you never know what you're going to hit. So we're just going to take a little bit of strength here and just create some holes. So if you don't have a Dremel, there's so many different things you can do. You know, if you just even want to take your time with a small screwdriver. But if it's too big, it's going to push in and press it. So you always want to, you know, go with a, some type of starter hole there and then create the hole very slowly and you don't have to make as many as I did here but um, you can just do two or three on all four or let's say three on all four corners and that should be enough and now with this in here and these holes in here is definitely going to create a lot more airflow inside this pot and that way your roots are going to be healthier all right, there you have it. I hope you found this tip useful. If so, go on and give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to become part of the Black Orchid Project community, go on and hit the subscribe button and join us over on Instagram. That way you are always notified of new content and new tips as they become available. If you'd like more tips right now, go on and click on this playlist right here. That's going to do it for me today. As always, be safe. More importantly, be kind. Never give up on them. And until next time, Peace.